Among the many archaeological sites in southern Mexico, the ancient city of Izapa contains one of the most elaborate carvings in Mesoamerica, Izapa Stella V. Carved from volcanic rock, it stands an impressive two and a half meters high. The central figure of the stella is a fruit-laden tree, the Tree of Life, a recurring theme in many Mesoamerican cultures and the symbol of Christ in Lehi's vision. Across the top of the stella is a depiction of the heavens and below what is believed to be a depiction of earth and the rod of iron looping back to the tree. The tree's roots are anchored in the earth while its branches reach the heavens, the tree of life acting as a bridge between heaven and earth. Along the bottom is a depiction of a river of water, the swirls of rapids marked with dots possibly representing filth. The people sitting below the tree are believed to be representations of early Book of Mormon figures. Sariah, Lehi's wife, who is wearing a headdress, sits holding what appears to be a sacrificial knife and a fish. Lehi is depicted with a beard, gaunt and frail body. He appears to be instructing or counseling. He also sits upon a skull throne, which represents a deathbed, perhaps giving a final address. Burning incense and plumes of smoke arise between those giving and receiving instruction. Opposite of Lehi and Sariah sits one who is believed to be Nephi, wearing an elaborate headdress of the maize god. With his left hand, he appears to be writing. His right hand, similar to Lehi's, could indicate counsel and direction. Within the earth are seeds of the word of God, whose angles geometrically align with the eyes and ears of the people on the stella. To the left and right of the tree are what are believed to be early depictions of Quetzalcoatl the plumed serpent and his brother and rival Tezcatlipoca the jaguar god. While it is impossible to prove or disprove these interpretations with certainty, it is nonetheless intriguing and compels consideration. As further studies are made and older ideas reformed, we may have a more clear understanding of how the people of Izapa fit into the puzzle of the ancients and from what source their spiritual knowledge sprang.